Hello and welcome to Finding Vector Components. We're going to find the components of these two vectors here, A and B. Here's A, here's B. This angle here is with the uh, y-axis, and this angle right here is uh, with the negative y-axis. And the key concept here is that these trigonometric angles, this is 0 degrees, this is 90 degrees here, this is 180 degrees, and then this guy down here is 270 degrees, is the negative y-axis like that. And the first thing you want to do for all these angles is find the trigonometric angle, and none of these is the trigonometric angle. The proper angle for B, for example, is actually this angle here, okay? And that is, all we do is we just go 90 plus 22, yeah? Right? So this is 90 degrees plus 22 is equal to 112 degrees for B, like that. And then this guy down here, notice that this guy is not quite to 270, right? So it's 90, 180, not quite 270. It's actually 63 degrees short of 270. So it's 270 take away 63. 63, I can't, right? So 270 minus 63 is, of course, uh, what is that, 207? 207 degrees is the trigonometric angle. And by that I mean this angle here all the way around 90, 180, beyond there is this angle right there. Okay. So this is the key concept. Once you have that key concept, then the vector components are just the magnitude of the vector times the angle. Right. So let's suppose B has a magnitude of, say, 42 newtons or, or anything. Right. It doesn't really matter. Then we just simply find the components for B. Uh, B is going to be 42 cosine of 112, and that's going to be the x component. And it's going to be 42 sine of 112 in the y direction. All right, so take your calculator, turn it on. First thing is check the mode. Right, you might have to do mode or second mode, yeah. And then just make sure we're using degrees. Make sure that this guy is over degrees like that, right? If it's not, make it over degrees, hit enter, and then you can clear, and then you're set, right? So we can do this. Okay, and there's our results. We've got uh, a negative component, so it's negative 15.3 seven, three, or something like that. I'm going to write down extra sig figs because I'm most likely going to use these for some calculation. And then this one is 38, 38.94 newtons. And that's newtons in the x direction, newtons in the y direction. And this works with anything like, uh, like uh, meters per second or meters or anything like that. And then we can go and we can find the components of this guy down here. This guy, let's give it a magnitude. Let's say it's it's 38 newtons, right? Well, then A is just simply going to be 38 cos 207 in the x direction and 38 sine 207 in the y direction. Okay, and here we are. These Both of these components are negative, and this makes sense because we're down here in quadrant three. So this ends up being negative uh, 33.86 approximately newtons in the x direction plus negative 17.25 newtons in the y direction. There we go.